Hey guys, how's it going? It's Beginnings here. I hope you guys have had a, a wonderful weekend. Today's video is going to be an Alice video. Um, I was actually going through like all of my videos and I kind of dated them out in my notes and stuff. And it's been a good little bit since I've done an Alice video and I decided that's what I wanted to upload today, especially since I have been sitting on quite a few different uh, videos for a while and I kind of want to get those out before I start putting out new content, uh, especially with the new patch coming, a lot of things are going to change. So I kind of want to get all of this stuff out before the new patch comes out and it becomes outdated and old and lame and stupid uh i did not end up starting on the same side of our jungler this game um just because i really didn't feel like there was a big threat of invasion <clears throat> we end up running into the pira anyways so we know that there really isn't an invade going on um and even if there was we would be kind of screwed because our Crixie was pretty uh late to the game um it's fine though it's not too big of a deal we find the Kali and the Pira trying to take our small camp, and that is not allowed. Fortunately, the first stun misses, but Krixie lands her knockup and her A on the Pira. She's really low, and they are forced to back off. Before her heal comes up, the Hayate takes her out. I land my stun on the Kali, and we will get another... There we go. And then we will secure a double kill for our Hayate. That is pretty good for a late game hero to get two kills in like a minute into a game. That is more than good that is fantastic um we are a pretty scaling team we have uh valheim in the dark slayer lane hayate in the dragon lane and alice as our support so our early game isn't the best but you know we're just that much better so it ends up working out in our favor we uh land a sun on the kali the zephyr follows up with an ultimate and we will secure a third kill uh for our hayate that was a pretty nice rotation up from him it worked out pretty nicely my Zephyrus wants to go for the Sentinel. I end up finding the Darcy in the river on bot side, which is pretty interesting since I expected him to be around Sentinel. We're going to go ahead and land a double stun and flicker out. The uh, Darcy wanted it, but he cannot have it. The Zephyrus gets a really nice two-man ultimate and Krixie follows up, but uh, they don't do enough damage to really take anyone out. The Pyrrha gets knocked really low. We're going to help our team clear this wave a little bit, and then we're going to finally head back. We are really, really low. Um, the enemy support's most likely going to end up heading back too, unless she just waits for her heal to come up. So we don't have to worry about the support doing anything too crazy while we're not on the map, especially since our ADC is already 3-0. The Richter looks like he was going for some stuff on some Crixie or onto Crixie, but uh, all he achieved was a nice little chunking that actually really sucks she should probably recall uh, it's going to make any play that we want to make right about now pretty risky uh, we make our way towards bot side just because that's where our jungler is going to end up finishing his wave clear it also helps us secure the uh, bird with hayate fortunately i just used my shield so it's going to be pretty hard to get this or to chase down the kali i wait until zephyr lands his ultimate then i stack my stun on top of that we do secure the kill on the kali once again she's like zero and three right now really sucks for her but she should probably be playing safer uh, my team pulls out the blue buff and that kind of really sucks we definitely should have just done it instead of pulling it out that makes this next play a lot riskier the darcy and the pira are back the stun is bouncing between me and the bush i end up getting hit by the talon assault and so does everybody else throw a stun down i manage to stun up the richter the zef is ult out but the Crixie is gonna die the pira pops her heal and land a nice little two-man stun to make sure that they do not keep chasing. Our Zephyr has to go back to his red buff. Um, he's probably going to have to clear mid as well, just because our mid laner died without being able to clear the wave. I really want to get back. I don't know why Hayate walks up. I know the uh, Darcy is kind of around. He does have Purify, though, so it ends up working out. It's all good. Uh, that now is definitely the time to head back, though. I am not feeling very safe around here at less than half HP when they have a Darcy and a Talanis. They just have a lot of CC, you know? The three-man trio ends up rotating back towards mid, but my team is already on the enemy's red buff. Uh, that really sucks for the enemy jungler. Really smart call from my team. I see that the Hayate is collapsing on the Pira. I go ahead and land the stun. Uh, throw down my ultimate as well to make sure that we secure the kill onto her. She falls. We're going to go ahead and push out this mid turret. Um, unfortunately, my team was pushing out top, so they were not able to get to mid in time. Uh, Zephyrus wants to dive this, but the Darcy does 
have his ult up, I mean his passive up, um, and that was just a really bad dive, he shouldn't have done that, we didn't have any vision on really anybody, and the Darcy almost had his passive up, so it was really risky in the first place, and yeah, I ended up getting tagged by the Darcy ult, trying to help him out, uh, that kind of sucked. Uh, you see Valheim and Kirksey are both very, very low, uh, someone is probably going to have to make a rotation towards mid to save the tower. Um, Unless Krixi actually saves it. I, I don't remember, actually. This game was so long ago. I am just as surprised as you guys are. Oh, yeah, that's right. Krixi actually ends up dying to the Kali ult. Um, that Kali is probably really good, I'm sure. Hayate ends up dying in a 1v3. Uh, no surprise there from our boy Danny. That's kind of just how he is. Our Zephyrs is back onto his red buff. And we're just going to go ahead and scout out the enemy's blue just to kind of see if we can get a bead on their jungler since uh, we kind of lost where he was um, with our last, like, screw up, I guess you would call it. I don't know. Anyways, uh, we know that the Darcy is going to be around his red just because that's the next buff that's spawning up or coming up rather. But Valheim is there before anybody else is. We go ahead and secure the red buff for Valheim. He's pushing out top. The Darcy, Talanis, and Pyrrha are all collapsing. We land the stun on the Darcy. We throw down our ultimate so he cannot get that pick onto us. Our team is defending or taking down mid lane. I throw out my stun once again just to kind of zone them uh really great job on our part to uh distract them i guess we had some pretty nice stuns and a nice ult doing the same thing again throwing out the stuns making sure nobody walks up to contest this dragon uh our team is now ready to fight we are not close enough to land the stun onto the talanis but zephys is close enough to land the ultimate the hate takes out the richter with her or with his ultimate the pira stun is really annoying but i don't want to use my bracers because i know that darcy is still alive and he can absolutely screw us with a nice ultimate we end up taking out the pira as well we also have a cannon minion here to take the tower and that is uh fantastic for us we have eight out of nine kill participation by far the highest on our team so far and uh this game is going fantastically our rotations have been pretty nice and right now i'm just trying to use my water stone stacks i have three and as long as you're sitting on three water stone stacks it's kind of wasting efficiency um just because you cannot generate more than three stacks at a time i want to get the richter here but he actually ends up moving at like the exact time i throw out my stun it's probably just because he saw me and freaked out a little but it's fine Krixie is in that bush and uh we are rotating over with the valhai and we know that she She's camping. We see the Kali. She gets a knockup, throws out her A. We throw down her ultimate. We get the stun on the Richter in the bush. He gets absolutely demolished by our DPS and only the Pyrrha and Darcy are here to defend. I'm going to walk up because I see my team is pushing for the mid tower. It forces Darcy to rotate slowly. We also have our purifying bracer, so we know that Darcy cannot kill us. The Krixie gets a knockup onto the Talanis, but Zephyr does not want to go in. He just wants to push for this top tower. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and rotate up. We also have pressure on the bottom tower, so the, we knew that the enemy team would be forced to rotate, you know, to defend that. We throw down our ultimate for some zoning and uh, just to make sure that the enemy team can't really clear. We get a nice little stun, but uh, we just need to take this tower and leave. We're really low. Valheim finally secures the top tower, and uh, the Richter is jumping on me. We're just going to go ahead and flicker away, throw down our stun. The Richter went over the bush. We get tagged by the Darcy ultimate, and he actually misses us. We're just going to go ahead and run away. We don't want to die. The Valheim went back in for some reason, chasing the Darcy, and got hit by the Talanis ult and died. Um... Yeah, that was crazy. I don't know how that Darcy didn't kill me. I He just messed up the placement of his S2, I guess. And so I survived. And I am eternally grateful to the AOV gods for their mercy. Uh, my jungler is most likely going to be going for his buffs yet again. Um, we could do Dark Slayer once our team respawns and we exert some pressure onto this map. We're always going to have pressure in the top lane, so we kind of need Hayate to push out these bot lanes. It would be helpful if he pushed out two bot waves. That way we actually had some meaningful pressure in the bottom side of the, the map. Oh my god, excuse me. That way we had some meaningful pressure in the bottom side of the map and uh that means that somebody's going to be forced to collapse on that wave to clear it so we have more pressure around top side uh just like that actually i did ping that they were going towards bot but hayate still gets caught out regardless because he walked right into them but that does give my team a really good opportunity to take the dark slayer so once my team secures the dark slayer yay uh we're gonna go ahead and try to look for some nice 
picks, especially since the Richter seems to be pretty separated from his team. The Darcy is bottom. We find the pick onto the Kali. We land the stun and the ultimate onto the Talonis. And with that, we are going to try to push down top for the victory here. We have the Drake. We have two super minions. Uh, Darcy looks like she he finally went back. We find the stun onto the Pyrrha. She is absolutely getting massacred. The Richter jumps in, but he doesn't do enough damage. We cleansed our Zephyrus of the ult. The Darcy was baited in. Throw it on our ultimate. These Valheim is taking out the Pyrrha, and she will fall right before the game ends. And so will the Darcy. This game was super fun. Uh, we were all over the map. We had almost 100% kill participation. Like, I think we were one kill off. And I don't know. It was just a really fun Alice game. Super fast paced. And they don't happen a lot or happen very often. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this game as much as I did making it. Please be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you do enjoy this type of content, guys. And I will be seeing you guys next time. See ya.